Scotland's national instrument, the bagpipe, carries a long and honorable history, stretching back to the beginnings of civilization as one of the oldest known musical instruments. But what do we know about the precise origins of the bagpipe? While the trumpet was the instrument of the Roman cavalry, the bagpipe was the instrument of the Roman infantry. Some have proposed that it was introduced by the Romans. Others suggest, however, that the Romans picked it up from Celtic tribes. Even the Roman Emperor Nero was said to have been a pipe player. And there could be little doubt that the bagpipes are somehow intimately related to marching armies, if not to warfare itself. By going back further and further into history, a plausible outline takes shape. The bagpipe is referenced in the Bible and was carved with animal musicians in the late 15th and early 16th century throughout Europe. The Oxford History of Music says that a sculpture of bagpipes has been found on a slab in Turkey dated to 1000 BC, but it's been destroyed. Here's a photograph of it. So does that mean they're not Irish? What do you think? ancient depiction that fascinated me the most, however, is this one, showing what appears to be a siege with divers swimming underwater using what look like bagpipes, animal skin bags filled with air. According to Homer, divers were involved in military operations during the Trojan Wars. They sabotaged enemy ships by boring holes in the hulls or cutting anchor ropes. When we look at these 4,000 year old Minoan depictions of dolphins, we notice something attached to their noses, like a harness. And one can imagine that if dolphins were used in sea battles, as has been suggested by some of the ancient myths, then having a bag for air would make sense. It's fun to speculate about ancient scuba divers especially when the depictions are so clear and vivid. But there is, however, another practical use for the bagpipe that's not related to warfare, and that's the almost hypnotic sound produced, especially when in conjunction with drums or other percussion instruments that help to bring about a trance state, one used by shamans to make contact with the gods, which can also be interpreted as entering into an altered state of consciousness, enabling the shaman to communicate with the collective subconscious mind, bringing back some needed information, or even allegedly divination about future events. When both of these uses for the bagpipe are taken into consideration, I would speculate that the bagpipe was introduced into Europe by marching armies for sure, but I would also argue that the shaman types like druids, probably already had similar, if not identical instruments, not to attack a castle by swimming under the moat like a fish, but to soar in the sky like a bird, lifted up by the sweet hypnotic sounds 
of the sacred instrument, the bagpipe. It's just a, a great instrument to play. Um, it just, it's just wonderful to play, sort of thing. Oh, it's a fantastic feeling. It's great hearing the pipes and the, and the drums. It's a real vibrant feel to it. It's superb. My name is Robert Sepper. I'm an anthropologist and author. My books are available on Amazon.com. I'd like to thank my subscribers and friends that have contributed to Atlantean Gardens, the nonprofit organization that publishes my books and helps to produce these educational videos. We also set up a new, I guess it's Patreon.com. So thank you in advance to those who support us over there or by sharing our videos. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think about the origins of the bagpipes. And this was done in response to a question, mostly because I enjoy listening to the music so much. So hopefully you did as well. See you next time.